Hello, Steve White, Steve Art 39. Well, it looks like the Will Smith drama has come to an end finally. The Academy has announced that he will be banned from any Academy events uh, for the next 10 years. So that includes the Governor's Ball or any luncheons or screenings and of course the actual ceremonies. Um, there is no definitive word as to whether he can be nominated for um, any Oscars for, for any films in the near future, but he won't be able to attend if he is. So that has caused a bit of a problem for some uh, some companies that are, well, one is actually about to release a film that he's in, um, and one's, yeah, because that one is one of those ones that, you know, they want to be, you know, an Oscar film. So how's that going to work um, if your Oscar-nominated actor can't actually show up to accept the award? So that's going to get a bit messy. Um, and there's a few other productions that were going to star Will Smith that have been put on the back burner. And, yeah, it's... it's I, I don't know. Some people think it's too harsh. Some people think it's not enough. I think it's kind of light. I think it is kind of... It just goes without saying that he won't be allowed back to any other events because of what he did. But he doesn't actually seem to be being punished for what he actually did. Um, so I'm a bit disappointed that this is all that's happening. It's like, it's done. That's it. Okay, he's banned for 10 years. That's it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, there was talk of Chris Rock um, getting a lawyer because this might be overall damaging to his career, being, I don't know, a meme for the next couple of years. Um, every time you see someone get slapped in the face or someone talks about violence, you're going to have um, a meme of um, Chris Rock being hit by Will Smith. And how is that going to affect his image and his career? Um, there's talk he's going to sue Will Smith to recoup some of the losses that he's going to get. But um, that's just rumour. And there's more rumours actually about um, the relationship between uh, Will Smith and Jada. There are people saying that she never wanted to get married. She only got married because she was pregnant. Um, and apparently was still in love with Tupac, which I didn't even know anything about that. Or Tupac, sorry I said Tupac. So I'm talking about a beer. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. And the other rumour, of course, is that there was a video that was put out about... Um, they had Jada talking about her and Will's, Will's marriage, and she turned the camera on him, and he said, um, can you not turn your camera on me without letting me know you're going to be filming me? You know, basically, I'm a public figure. My um, social media is my bread and butter, and you can't just be recording me without my consent and putting me up. Um, online without telling me that you're going to do that. And it comes across as a really um, nasty moment between the two of them. Um, and it does look like they do have some marriage issues, which I guess they do, but they have decided to stick together. They believe marriage is till death do us part. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know any more about those two. Um, I, I, Jada doesn't seem like um, the most caring and sensitive woman. Um, person for that matter. Um, we shouldn't re relegate that to, you know, the fairer sex. But um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm not sure it's it's enough, um, the whole thing. Um, out of, out of, after all this, all this damage he's done to the Academy, all this damage he's done to Chris Rock's career, I, I believe, and his own career in the studios, that, because um, his, uh, his other films are going to suffer. I mean, I had already um, kind of banned him a few years ago after he um, hit that prank guy who I thought was a real reporter. And then I started watching his films again because I realised that was a guy pulling a prank on Will Smith, but still his reaction was really bad. But I'm like, I, I, I wasn't sure. And so now I'm cancelling him a second time, so I won't be watching any of his films. Um, I will still watch Independence Day because I love that film. But aside from that, I won't be watching anything that he does. So... Unless he like does a film with Madonna or something, or is or is in a Star Trek film or something, I won't be watching anything he does. And I think a few people will be doing the same. So he's hurt his brand. He's hurt anyone who has put money into something because of his name being worth something. And um, yeah, um, it's going to be a bit tricky. This I don't know if this will be the first time that the last person who won the Best Actor um, award won't be presenting the Best um, Actress award, which I think is the award he would have been giving out next year. But um, someone else will have to do that. And, um, yeah, there was also a video of Jada Pinkett Smith uh, laughing, appearing to laugh after he hit 
um, Chris Rock and there's talk that she actually didn't realise it was real either and she thought it was a joke like a lot of other people did. Um, but it's really unclear. But um, I guess that's the end of it though. He's banned for 10 years and that's good enough for them. So, okay. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I can't believe I talked for five minutes about this. It didn't seem that juicy. Um, it's just kind of like, well, I did a bunch of videos about this, so I thought I'd better cover the end of it. So it's over. Bye.